Sadly, we are learning new details about the death of popular YouTuber Etika. The medical examiner's office says the 29-year-old drowned in the East River by suicide. But first tonight, a developing story at LaGuardia Airport. Passengers tell us a suicidal woman tried to open the plane door as it was landing. Witnesses say the man jumped onto the tracks with the little girl. He was killed, but somehow, amazingly, the child found a safe spot and was not seriously hurt. Hello, Fearless Squad. Welcome to my channel. Bienvenidos a mi canal otra vez. I know this is not the regular intro that I usually do, but today I want to get on a more serious topic that we usually don't talk about. So for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Liz. I'm 25 years old. I am Dominican and I'm from the Bronx. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell below. Stop it. Stop it. Subscribe, subscribe. If you guys have been a part of the squad for a while now, then then you realize like about two videos ago, I posted up a video and I had been MIA for like a month. I hadn't been posting for a while. And there were some people talking like, oh Liz, where you at and stuff. And then I made that video after going MIA for a month. And I told you guys in that video that I was going through some things and that I would make a video on it. And so here we are. I hope through this video, I'll be able to reach other people who are going through similar things and just make the topic a discussion. All right, so let's get into the story. So like three videos ago that I posted, um, in that video, I told you guys that your girl has been going through some things, baby. Girl, you feel me? Like, I just, I don't know, for a, the last couple of months, I just haven't been feeling like myself and like I feel like you can see it through here like you can see it through the camera but if you know me like in person I'm, I'm the type of person who's the life of the party like you know I'm just that type of person and I don't feel like that I haven't been feeling like that in a long time for those of you who are new to the channel like last year I was living in China so I came back here to NYC in January and I told you guys some previous videos like I came back I wanted to get like a job well not a job a career within my field and stuff I graduated in criminal investigation from school so I was just trying to find something within that field and the hunt for a job has not been going to work well at all like it is windy as hell do you guys see that? Like, I'm under an umbrella, and it's, like, moving and stuff, shaking, because it's so windy. It's so windy, but it's sunny, too, because, damn, me tiene los ojos, like, shit. I hope you guys can still see them. So, yeah, like, I came back to NYC because I wanted to pursue something within my field, within what I graduated in. And don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed what I was doing in China. Like, I enjoy teaching. I actually enjoy it. Like, I could see that as a potential career but like before I even headed to China there was a lot of negativity surrounding that like why are you going to China that's not even what you graduated in blah blah blah, blah from people close to me so once I was in China and my contract was coming to an end I was just thinking like mm, should I stay should I go back home and try to find something more related to what I went to school in and I decided that I wanted to go back home and try to find something more related to what I went to school in because like all right my whole thing was all right I know that I enjoy teaching and I can see myself doing it but I don't want to just give up on what I went to school for if you feel what I'm saying like I don't want to be like I I like teaching forget about the rest I want to still do something within the field and then if I don't like it, then that's up to me to decide. Like, okay, I tried it, it wasn't for me, on to the next, you know what I mean? So I came here with that mindset and it has not been easy at all. Like I was breaking this little gig, I'm not gonna tell you guys where because it's kinda confidential, the information of the people I was working with. But I was working for an agency here. It has to do with like CJ, criminal justice and stuff like that. I was working there as a temp. 
and I decided to take the opportunity because I'm like, okay, there's an opportunity. I could at least get damn this wind so like the hell um i could at least get like my foot in the door i could get my foot in the door and then go into the agency like that and get a full-time position through that right but the job was stressful which i already knew that but it was just it became a lot like there was stress from the people that i had to work with and there was stress and disrespect from the supervisor and manager and then i'm up to a point in my life where i'm not tolerating disrespect like i've been there done that i don't care if you're a supervisor i don't care if you're a manager i don't care if you're the pope like i'm not tolerating disrespect and i don't mean that as all these millennials want to be entitled and stuff no it's like i'm a respectful person if you respect me i respect you i don't like people who try to degrade others because they feel like they're younger or because they feel like oh like better than them no fuck out of here you feel me so then whatever i had like a little few incidents with a couple of managers and supervisors where they disrespected me and then like after that i was like you know what this is not for me so i quit that job and like I've been looking, trying to find something else and it just hasn't been going that great. And then that has been having me in a rut because it's like, yo, what the fuck? Like I'm responsible as hell, I'm hardworking, I'm driven, so I don't understand what's going on. Like honestly, in this world that we live in today, everything is about connections and experience. Like connections and experience will trump whatever freaking degree you got from whatever fancy ass school whatever school you want to, to be honest and i feel like as a first gen sometimes it becomes a lot of pressure because like other people around you don't understand what you're going through there's no guidance people don't understand it and there's not a rope that you can hang on and be like okay i'm gonna take this rope and i'm gonna climb all the way to the top it's kind of you gotta film for yourself and there's a lot of pressure in that and also just like pressure if you grew up in a caribbean household or from migrant parents and you know that they gave up everything to give you like the life you have now so there's a lot of pressure into meeting up to their standards and basically not being a fuck up in life you know what i'm saying so yeah that's issue number one financially shit is just like not hidden for me like i'm very independent but and i feel like i gotta depend on a lot of people being back here and that's just not my lifestyle for real for real and then like the next thing is like my health and uh, it's nothing well right now it's nothing too serious but it's something that i do have to handle because it could potentially grow into bigger issues down the line but i'm taking care of that right now i'm not gonna speak too much on like health wise on what's going on because i'm gonna make videos like a couple of videos in the future explaining everything that has to do with that so yeah just know like my health i'm having a couple of issues with that but i'm taking care of it but it's just something else that has me like overwhelmed and the third thing is love so when i say love i don't specifically mean that as in a boyfriend or a significant other i mean love in general as in from family from friends or even from a significant other so just in general and my love life like non-existent non-existent but also i'm i'm aware that i have a lot of baggage that i have to take care of like i shared with you guys before that i was in an abusive relationship and there's a lot of things from that that i still have to let out and let go of and it's kind of still there because i never i don't really speak about it because i don't want to go there but i have to go there because i don't want to carry that on to somebody else 
you know what I mean? So yeah. And like as far as family and friends and stuff like that, I don't know. I just feel like I'm always the person that's helping other people. And it's kind of hard when you are like that. And I'm not complaining about it because anything that I've ever done, I've done it from the heart. But when you are that type of person, it's kind of hard because now you take on other people's issues and now like that causes you even more stress so yeah i feel like my environment causes me to be stressed a lot so i'm trying to learn how to deal with not always wanting to save everybody if that makes sense Yo, to be honest, I feel like a lot of the shit in this video is not gonna make sense to a lot of y'all. But if it does, then that's what's up. But if it doesn't, then it is what it is. But your girl is just venting here. Like, I'm just telling y'all what's going on. You feel me? So, ahora mismo estoy jodida con el dinero. Estoy jodida en la salud y estoy jodida en el amor. So, imagínate tú like baby girl how is there not gonna be any problems because you know like when you sneeze and stuff and then people be like oh oh que te venga mucho dinero salud y amor you know like that's the the main components that have to be there in order for a person to be happy and like it's not there so obviously i'm not gonna be happy like i'm not gonna feel like myself like i'm gonna feel depressed and that's what's going on with me right now so yeah like as I mentioned before I just haven't been feeling myself for like a couple of months now even doing this like uploading videos some days it'll be hard for me to upload these videos I'm not even gonna lie to ya just because like I don't have the energy in me but I still was uploading them but it was hard for me to upload them that's why I kind of went ghost for that month that I wasn't uploading because I just didn't find that energy. So like I sat and thought about it. I had been talking about this for a while that I wanted to go to therapy. But I feel like subconsciously I was refraining from going because I knew that going to therapy was going to be like a huge step in my life. And I'm going to have to talk about a lot of shit that I don't want to talk about. But it got to the point where I felt like, girl, you need to go. Because if you don't go, then you're going to go back to, like, the same list that you were, like, two years ago. And two years ago, like, 2017, come on, baby girl. I was going through it. Like, Liz was going through it. You feel me? But I made it out from there. And I never want to go back to being in that predicament again. So in order for me to move forward and to um, get rid of these generational curses, how we all say, um, I have to take care of it now. So that's what I decided to do. About a month ago, I went to my first therapy session. And let me tell you guys, it was not easy. It was not easy at all. So when I got to the site, they give you like, you register or whatever with the girl on the front. And they give you like this package and in this package you need to put all your information and stuff like that but they also ask you a lot of personal questions kind of like oh like what are you feeling um how do you think therapy could help you um just a lot of deep questions that if you are going through something mentally that's just, just gonna tell you you know what fuck this shit let me fucking run because if you're not there yet to like really answer these deep ass questions, then you're just gonna wanna run. And honestly, I was there like looking at this paper and I just wanted to run out the door because it's like, damn, damn. Like we haven't even sat down and y'all already, you know, ODing on your girl, like you feel me? So you have to like, llenale the paquete and stuff. And then once you actually, go and see the therapist the questions are not over now the therapist well at least in my scenario at least in my scenario 
I don't know, everybody's scenario is different, obviously, depending on where you go. Afterwards, when you go to see the therapist, they have to do your intake. So kind of like determine what's going on with you, you know, and then that's a lot of questions. And some of those questions are repeated questions just in a different way. They ask you the same shit and it's like, like, hello, I just answered that. I don't want to answer it again. But it's a lot of deep questions and you really have to, I guess, like go there mentally to be able to actually evolve and help get yourself out of that situation. I remember the first session that we had for the intake. I was in there bawling, y'all, like <laughs> bawling. I was in there bawling and I didn't want to go in there crying because like, that's one of my issues, vulnerability. I have issues with being vulnerable. Even putting this video up, even making this video is difficult for me. Although y'all see me being like a little humorous and stuff, cause that's just my personality and a little mechanism to not like speak about it fully, but it's, it's hard for me. So like the first session I was in there already crying and stuff and to be honest, after that first session, I was telling myself I did not want to go back there again because I, I didn't want to continue speaking on whatever the hell I was talking about with the therapist, you know what I mean? But I went anyways. I've been to like, so far I've been to four sessions. So yeah, it's been going. It's been going. It's It's been hard, but... One thing the therapist did tell me was working on yourself is one of the hardest things you'll ever have to do in your life. And I think, I think the shorty is onto something. I think the shorty is onto something because it's not easy, especially when you're not ready to go to certain places and stuff like that. But I'm learning, growing and evolving and I hope you guys come along with me on the journey. I know this video may not make sense and that I may be all over the fucking place, but bear with me. I'm trying as much as I can to be open with you guys. But yeah, I guess like the main point of this video is just to tell you guys, if you are going through something, then you're not the only one. You don't have to be embarrassed because you're going through something and if it comes to the point where you feel like you need to seek help then seek help and help doesn't necessarily need to mean you have to go seek a therapist there's people who therapy doesn't work for them maybe they like going to the gym maybe they like um going on hikes or whatever just do whatever is therapeutic for you and don't forget that depression is very different on everybody you don't, there's people who function perfectly being depressed and there's people who can't do anything at all being depressed. Like, there's been some, peop some people who I have shared that I'm like mildly depressed with. Their comment was like, oh, but you be out here lit. Like, I be seeing you go to all these events and stuff. Yeah, like I do, I do that because I do this as a hobby and I enjoy it but that doesn't take away from me being depressed. You know what I mean? So everybody's depression looks different. Everybody's different. But yeah, yeah, I hope I wasn't all over the place with this video. Hopefully I got a few topics across and if you're going through something, seek help seek help before it's too late and thank you for watching fearless squad don't forget to like comment and share and stay tuned for my next video bye